Over the years, we've opened tons of different error packs of Pokemon cards. From Red Strip error packs, to Miscut Evolving Skies cards, to even some of the rarest ghost cards you could ever find. But over the last two to three years, I've been stocking away different types of error packs that I've come across. And there's a lot. In total, I have around 20 different error packs of Pokemon cards. Those packs range from Miscut Cosmic Eclipse packs, to See-Through Chilling Rain packs, and even Green, Scarlet, and Violet booster packs. But one of the coolest of all is a super thick pack of Pokemon cards that we're going to be opening up at the very end of this video. But with all that being said, let's open up all of my air packs of Pokemon cards. Alright guys, so I have a ton of different error packs of Pokemon cards. I only showed a few in the intro, but I have around 20 in total. It's kind of crazy because I've been putting these to the side for years and I thought, you know what, we might as well finally open these things up and see exactly what's inside. So to start off here, I have this Chilling Rain pack of cards, but as you can see on the front, it's actually kind of see-through. It looks like some of the pack is just like missing, but you can actually see that that's a green and white code card, which means that there's actually going to be a pull inside. And actually, if you look on the bottom here, it's missing down the crimp and all up right above it a little bit and then is there anything missing on the back it doesn't look like the back is any of it missing it's mainly on the front here so the question is with some of these error packs are we going to be able to pull error cards out of them as well um oh that's weird dude look at that that's actually kind of crazy what is happening right now my error pack is uh oh my god my error pack's getting addressed here hold on this is crazy what is happening so that's why that's coming off it's literally dude i've never seen anything like that before the whole front of this thing is just like peeling off. Um, well, that is something. The entire thing just kind of like just came apart from the plastic. And now it's literally just a clear pack. That's wild. Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's open this pack up. It says Chilling Rain on the code card. So it looks like everything is normal so far on that. But let's see how we do with the packs. They are kind of bowed a little bit. I don't know if that's going to make a difference in terms of what's going to be inside of here. Everything looks normal so far. Porygon, we got Grookey, Marie. Oh, wait. All right, there's the side will reverse. And then we do actually have the pull. It's the Articuno V. All right, first pack was really, really crazy. And uh, it actually had a pull at it. Next up, we have a Cosmic Eclipse booster pack. And as you can see, it is miscut a bit on the top here. There's another pack that you could see. I don't know if that's like a Blastoise artwork or something up there. Blastoise Piplup, maybe. Um, but you can see, like, it's literally the next pack is on top of there. The bottom still looks like most of it is there. But let's see how we do with this one in terms of, like, the pulls inside of it. And trust me, I got a lot of really weird and strange um, types of error cards or error packs next to me here that I'm looking at that I'm really excited to actually open up. Uh, what are you doing? Four, I think? Yeah. All right, we got Water Energy here. But this is a pretty expensive pack already as it is. And then it is an error pack on top of that. But the, the error isn't too crazy. This is a little bit of a pack on the top there. Which is still kind of cool. Grimer, we got a reverse into a Sylveon non-hollow. All right, next up is a weird one. This is a Scarlet and Violet pack. But it looks like they put in way too much green ink or something. Because it's literally, it's just completely blown out in terms of like how much green is on this thing. It's so green. Um, just for like, like look at that. Here's like a normal like booster pack of scarlet and violet and there's this one with the crazy green going on it's like absolutely ridiculous how much more green it is than this one on the left here uh, but here's the standard one so i guess we might as well open up this standard pack and then uh let's open up that super green pack which is like a weird one to say but i noticed it i did have a couple of them and i was like what is happening these are just super green for no reason hollow lucha and uh, regular hollow all right now here's our our green one very very green I don't even know how that happens, to be honest with you. Um, I guess it must just be some kind of error with, like, the ink. Maybe they maybe they put, like, green ink where it's not supposed to be, and then it just, like, doubled down on the green on the, the pack. I don't know exactly how that works, but something something went terribly wrong. And it's super green on them. Uh, we do have an Iron Treads EX. All right, we got one single pull in that pack. Not the craziest of pulls, but we got a lot of crazy error packs. All right, here's another one I, that I already opened up uh, in a prior video, but it was just too cool not to show you guys this again. So this is the Red Strip Error Pack, I guess, and uh, these are actually pretty rare. I think this is the only one that I've ever like come across. Uh, Maybe might have been one other one, but I, I think this was probably it. I still have the cards in here, but uh, it's just super cool. Like, it's also on the inside. And, uh, yeah, it's like you definitely, I think it, like, 
might be the end of like the sheet of these packs and then like this accidentally made it i don't know how it made it into the production and then into like a booster box but it had to have gone through like a whole bunch of hands to actually made it into a box when it was not supposed to be all right next up i have two evolving skies packs and these ones are a lot more miscut than the cosmic eclipse packs that we opened up uh because check it out like this one you can see 10 initial game cards is cut almost in half and then at the top there you have way more crimp and then this one is almost completely gone and then you can actually see the next one from the next pack up uh, a little bit left and it actually kind of looks like that almost oh my god wait that is actually the other half of this pack i think wait hold on dude that's actually crazy that might be the exact pack like these packs were attached at one point um <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just going to base it off of the 10 there, but in the A, I guess, it looks like it could be in, like, the exact packs that were together. Because these did, I believe, come out of either, a, maybe not a booster box, I can't remember. Maybe it's like those Pokeballs or, I don't know, it was some product that they were together in, so could have been a booster box, actually. So if it was in a booster box, it actually would make sense that they were together at some point. Um, but we're tearing them apart, and now we're tearing them open to see what's inside. <laughs> uh... These are cool to hang on to, but I've had them for, you know, I've been stockpiling them for so long that I was, I intended to just open them up eventually because, you know, curiosity always gets the best of me. We got Seismitoad. That was all, all that for the Seismitoad. That's all right. We got one more shot here. If there's a moon down in this thing, I would say it would definitely be worth it. You can even see the text on the back here, completely cut off there, dynamic power. And then like, you can see the rest on that side. All right. Let's see. We got on our second one. Can we get lucky on this one and get a pull? Make it worth it. Make it worth it. Come on. Boost Shake. Applin. Sableye. Carvana Toy Catcher. <laughs> our Shadow Regular Hollow. All right. Next up, we have Brilliant Stars. And there's two different versions of these. Uh, there's one where you have, like, the silver on the top there. And then there's just more of, like, the actual, I guess, white. Kind of just so it doesn't look as, I guess, disconnected, if that makes sense. These ones definitely look a lot cleaner. But they were printing some of these where you had like silver on the pops and bottoms. So let me know which one of these you like more. I would definitely go with this one. It kind of just, kind of just, I mean, the artwork just goes across the entire pack. But I thought I'd show you guys both of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, just because I have both of them. But let's see what we got on this first pack here. We got Spirit Tone, Magmar, Corfish, Sneasel, Dusk Gold, Muck, and Professor's Research. Moving on to our version here with the silver on top. Let's see what we get on this one next. And I have opened way more error cards of Pokemon cards. Uh, but the thing is, they were in other videos, and I found them during openings and stuff like that. So, you know, those were times when I decided to open them. But there's other packs that I've come across just on my own, just like, you know, grabbing product here and there, or going through product and stuff like that, um, and just spotting them and just kind of putting them to the side. So it's cool to finally put all these together and open them up and then just get nothing. <laughs> all right, so here we have an Astro Radiance pack. I don't know what happened to this thing, but there's like the regular pack artwork. Then it goes see-through almost. Yeah, like that's definitely see-through. Uh, I would say like the front half of it looks to be clear and then there's like more artwork on the top there So I'm not really sure what's going on with this one, but it definitely looks weird. So I put it to the side um, Yeah, or maybe it is silver on just in that spot not see-through. I don't know But either way, it was kind of a weird one. It's even crimped weird. All right, let's see what we get out of this one Let's see if this is the one that made it all worth it. Oop, there we go. Okay, so we got the fire energy Golduck Yanma. We got Hoot Hoot Pseudo Wudo, Arcanine, and a Thiebel. All right, next up, uh, there's a giant stack of these. They are completely, like, off-center. It's really, really, really off-center. Like, look at that. That Pokemon starts, it's already wrapped around there, and Silver Tempest logo, and the other part of this pack, like, it should be way more over here. So it's completely off-center. Like, look at on all of these packs. Um, it's like, I don't know how that even happens. Oh, wow, and then look, since it messes that up, the whole back crimp is, like, missing the actual material there so it's like one layer um and yeah i guess they're all like it's it's so many of them they're all like that so i mean these i would assume probably came from a yeah it was a, from a booster box i believe but we have a whole stack of these and they're just weird Ooh, they even open up weird look at that okay that just kind of falls off let's see if we can get any pulls on these silver tempest uh error packs all right here we go the tank lapani Solosis Zubat. Ooh, there's our first pull trainer gallery. And the second one doubling up. Lugia V. I've been pulling that card nonstop lately. Alright, so we got this big stack here of Silver Tempest 
Yeah, they're weird to open up. Very weird. Okay. Very, very weird. One, two, three, four from the back to the front here. Lightning energy. Come on, let's see if we get something. We got some really good cards out of that first pack. A Radiant Alakazam and a Del Fox. All right, an entire stack of these error packs. Silver Tempest. Going in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we get on this next one here. Psychic Energy. Breaks in. Fungus Sandy Guest. Halucha. All right, we're moving. Lolan Volpix. Bring us the goods, please. Um, and then after this stack, one, two, three, four, we're going to move on to more error packs. And then we're going to end it with the super thick pack. Never know. Oh, that's a really good trainer gallery. The Corviknight V into the Metacham regular hollow. That's probably the best pull of the video. Silver Tempest. Come on. Definitely a really nice set to be able to open up here. Four in the back on that one. Serena, Gym Trainer, Zubat, Fungus, Sandigast, Jinx, and a four Seal Stone. All right, three more. Let's see. Oh, Oop. can we get something on this one? One, two, three, four. I think that means we're going to get at least a hollow or better. Raichu. Raichu. Baltoy. Ooh, Friends of Galar. And a Metagross. All right, the, the trainer gallery is just pumping out the pulls. That's crazy. So this is a card that we got from um, a special product, actually, a few weeks ago that we opened on the channel as well. All right. Oh, all right. But you know what that means. Nothing in the rare slot, but we can still get something in that reverse slot. Sunflora. Spinrack Beldum. Come on. Closest. Del Fox. All right. One more pack. One more pack. Come on. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we're moving on to our next error pack. We're getting really close to the uh, super thick pack, though. Come on. Fennekin, Volpix, Gardevoir. All right. So we have some Lost Origin packs, and they're just kind of weird. Like, this one has silver randomly down there, and then a crimp down there. Top looks fine. Looks like it's like that one is definitely off center. That one's way higher up. And then I think there's just extra material on this one. Like that shouldn't be there. That should be down more probably. And then this one's also weird. The crimp on this is like kind of crazy looking. It's like a lot smaller. Um, and then there's also like just silver there. But yeah, these two are just kind of a little bit, little bit off. Um, one, two, three, four. So let's see what we get in them though. We got Dottler, Poliwag, Gliger, Gumi, Slugma, Forganzi. And then, yeah, this one's just like, I th just like, I think the pack is just completely off. Like that, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Now I can see it on the back. That is just not supposed to be there. That's on the next pack. You can see that barcode's like almost cut off there. The It doesn't cut the words off there, but like that basically should be the next pack and the crimp should probably be right there. But yeah, that one's a little bit funky. But let's see what we get in on this one. And then after this pack, we're going in on the super thick pack. Should be fun. All right. Roserade, Clefairy, Porygon, Inkay, Bullbug. Oh, another trainer gallery pull. Crobat into the Aerodactyl V-Star. All right, so here it is, the super thick pack. This is Brilliant Stars. I have come across this one other time as well in a card shop, which was crazy. Um, and there was stuff in it. So I'm interested to see how this one works out. I think the one that I opened up before had a, like a whole bunch of extra commons in it. Um, but I believe this was from a booster box and it was just randomly in there. And uh, yeah, so let's check it out if anything else is weird. Mm, looks to be normal, just extra cards. I don't even understand how that, I guess it makes sense if more cards get thrown on it and then it gets sealed up. But anyway, let's open up this Brilliant Stars super thick pack to end out this video and let's see. Man, imagine if they just were like, yeah, we actually threw in a whole bunch of like secret rares. I would just, okay. That would be crazy. Um, let's see what happens. Let's see what the first card is. It is a common. Oh my God, look how many cards are in this thing. That's crazy. There is a code card on the back. That's a good sign though. Okay, oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> and like this pack just kind of disintegrated. Um, all right, well not disintegrated, but it just kind of fell apart. We got Grimer, Clefairy, that's another common. Bidoof, oh my God, it looks like it might be set up like how we found that other one in that card shop. And it was also a Brilliant Stars pack. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it was also a Brilliant Star. Wait, that's weird. We're at the reverse. Um, okay. And now, wait, now we're back to a common? That doesn't make sense. Um, all right, Corpfish. 
All right, more commons. Oh my god, wait, dude, I pulled this card three times. The chap, what? One of them is a reverse. Okay, that's weird. Chimchar now. Um, is it all the same set? Yeah, it's all the same. It's all the correct set. Brilliant stars. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay. Munchino. Are we gonna get something crazy in here? And where would it be? Another reverse. So we got the Corpfish now. Um, I guess maybe there'll be a rare to this. Oh, <laughs> what? Dude, no way! Oh my God, this is even crazier than the one we found at the card shop. This actually has a Charizard full art. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my God, the odds of it being an air pack, like super thick, and then having a Charizard V full art in it. What the? Dude, that's wild. Can we get anything else? All right, now we have an energy, but it's not over yet. Hunting gloves. So we're uh, on commons now. We might be normal, normalizing now. This might be normal. What in the... I don't understand. I guess they must have put an extra stack of commons in reverse. And then, yeah, maybe like an extra... All the commons in a reverse extra on top. Fracture. And then there's the code card. Dude, I can't believe that this was in there, though, out of all that stuff. All right, guys, that is all of my error packs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.